So my goal is to become the number one badminton player in Australia. But there's a problem. I stopped playing badminton years ago to pursue my career, which means I have a lot of catching up to do. So earlier this year, I decided to take 30 days off work to train badminton in Thailand full time. Six hours a day of intense training to get me back into form. But this is when I realized just how different it was gonna be. By day 14, I was so exhausted. I was struggling to walk up the stairs and all I could think about between training sessions was to nap. I knew it was gonna be worth it to get closer to that number one ranking in Australia. And after 30 days, I had the opportunity to compete at the Oceania Championships. So I hopped on a plane and flew to New Zealand. The 30 days of training all came down to this tournament and I really needed to win because I didn't want to get knocked out in the first round after all the time and training I've spent on this. My opponents were the champions from last year, so it wasn't gonna be easy. My partner and I got off to a rough start with some communication errors. But then we found a rhythm and we were neck to neck until we had a game point opportunity, but then we blew it. And then our opponents had a match point opportunity too, but then they blew it. And then we went back and forth a few times until we were down 25-24 and I had the perfect setup, but then I messed up and I hit into the net. And I was really frustrated at this point, but I was determined to win, so I told myself, okay, forget about it and just focus on the next set. My recent training in Thailand had really given me the edge and I was feeling quick and agile, especially in the front court. So we came up with a strategy. I would control the net and force our opponents to live so that my partner could smash. And it worked. We got a big lead and won the second set 21-14. Now I was onto the third set and I could really feel the pressure building. In the past, I would get tired really easily, especially during a three set match. But because right now my fitness is at an all time high, I was able to maintain my speed and power. And we were fighting our heart out for every single point until... Now we're onto the quarterfinals and we're playing against another really strong pair, but this time there was another problem. Just before our match started, my partner Ricky played one of the most intense singles matches of his life, which lasted an entire hour. So he was dead tired before we even started. Still, we pumped ourselves up and gave that all. Our opponents had a really aggressive play style and they loved to play hit hard and flat shots and move into the net. And this kept us under pressure throughout the entire set. And as a result, we made a few too many mistakes losing the first set 21-13. And in the second set, I tried to take a bit more of the offensive play, taking a bit more chances and moving towards the net more. But by then, Ricky had no energy left and we fought hard and gave our all still, but we just couldn't keep up and we lost second set 21-15. And though I was disappointed we didn't progress further, I'm still proud of myself for the progress we've made in the last month. But now it's back to work. So if I want to become the number one badminton player in Australia, I've got to somehow fit a full-time training schedule with a full-time job. So I started waking up early every morning to fit in the training session before work every day. And then I did a second session after work. It was a nice intense session, as you can see. That would be four hours of training a day on average. And it was easy but I wanted to show that it's possible to grind towards your goals even if you're busy with a full-time work schedule and I've been keeping this schedule up for two months but let me tell you there were many mornings where I just didn't want to wake up but despite this I just kept reminding myself of my goal and after many early mornings and late nights I got this email so it turns out I got selected to represent my state to compete at the Australian National Championships which was great news because I didn't make it the previous year and the national championships are split into two parts so first you got the team event where we'll face off against all the other states in Australia as a team. And my state, New South Wales, hasn't won a title in 12 years. So this was our chance to finally claim a victory. Afterwards, there's also the individual championships where it's like a knockout event with all the top players in Australia competing against each other to determine who's going to be the national champion for each event. And since my goal is to become the number one player in Australia, I'll need to win that title to achieve my goal. All the months of hard work comes down to this tournament and it's starting tomorrow. So I packed my bag and we flew over to Bendigo as a team ready to compete at the Australian National Championships. And I'll be documenting my progress in this tournament over the next few days. So make sure you follow to see how I go.